Did you know in Florida, if an elephant is left tied to a parking meter, the parking fee has to be paid just as it would for a vehicle? Like who in Florida would spend their retirement money to buy an elephant to run away from a hurricane? Or what about in Louisiana, where it is illegal to send a surprise pizza, or else it's punishable by a $500 fine? Or in Indiana, the home of that most famous annual race, where it is illegal to ride a horse that travels higher than 10 miles per hour? Michigan, the home of the big three automotive companies, where it is unlawful to buy, sell, or trade motor vehicles on a Sunday. So how does Ford get away with the naming rights of the home of the Detroit Lions? North Carolina, where playing bingo drunk is subject to a Class 2 misdemeanor? South Carolina, where playing pinball under the age of 18 is considered a status offense? Missouri, where bear wrestling is a Class A misdemeanor? But a pretty good excuse for our new Secretary of Education to humble brag about that confirmation hearing. Alabama, where it's illegal to drive blindfolded. Iowa, where it's illegal to throw a brick on a highway. Although I think I may have a Facebook friend who'd be willing to test that thesis out, the poor goober. Websites have chronicled some of these common-sense pick-me-ups across the nation that have turned into a waste of taxpayer money. Why should it be worth enforcing in Utah, a self-proclaimed holier-than-thou spirit beacon, that nobody can have sets in the back of an ambulance if it is responding to an emergency call? Even the Book of Mormon has standards. I'm of the belief there is no shortage of common sense in the world, or the judgment to separate humanity from lackadaisical buffoonery. But are some people really that bored in their present positions? Lawmakers should be required to pass yearly concussion protocol to see if the blood flow and glucose in their brains is at a chemical imbalance. Or if that idea doesn't pan out, why not take a page from an old Doritos Super Bowl commercial and slip shock collars on the leaders of our constituencies? Of course, not to the level that poor man felt in the Doritos commercial, but just enough to tickle them and say, Hey, our way of life is no laughing matter. Not all of us should be penalized for making faces at dogs or fishing while sitting on a giraffe's neck. Isn't that something we can all agree on?